Imagine if you had a machine that you could carry around with you that told you whether things were going according to plan. Imagine if you could use that machine to make small corrections to your path so that you avoided obstacles and maintain a steady progress to your ideal life. How powerful would it be if you could meet with people and simply know whether your purpose was aligned with theirs and whether they really got what it is you were saying. Now, I've been fascinated with the human condition for over 20 years, and I've studied extensively how human beings communicate with each other, and how we communicate with all of the systems that make up our personal experience. And if you are like most people who come onto our training, you've been going through life experiencing it very much with a focus on um, very much what's right in front of you. And for the most part, that will be constructed thoughts in time, which incidentally are not real. In a way, it's like our senses get blinkered from our real experience and the opportunities that are actually present. The fact is that by doing this, we are potentially missing out on a lot of useful information that is always present. On our NLP training courses, we teach you about sensory acuity in terms of communicating with other people and noticing the minute changes in their physiology, which feed back to that system of communication. And this is a fantastic way of knowing how your communication is being received by others and gives you insight into the thoughts that they may be having at a given moment in time, or at least the emotions that they are feeling. Now, you already have sensory acuity. What we do is we teach you how to become aware of it. And the communication exercises that we teach you are really useful in opening your mind to the feedback from an individual. However, sensory acuity is way more than that. To have real sensory acuity is to be connected to everything that is going on around you, both people and otherwise, in a way that you can pick up communication or feedback, take it in and work with it. And it's by doing this that you're able to spot potential and opportunities that you would otherwise miss. Now, I like to um, <clears throat> refer to this state or of existence as real-time thinking. It's thinking and responding real-time to what is happening in our environment and our experience. And I mean all of it, not just the bit that is right in front of us. The next time you're speaking with someone, start to become aware of that person's physiology and begin to notice how it changes ever so slightly when you're speaking with them. Notice how their breathing changes. Look to their lower lip and see how the shape and the size changes. And as you communicate, become aware of their pupils and how they dilate as you talk about certain things. And there, and there are more clues uh, and what they mean. And we share all of them on our training courses. But for now, what I'd like to give you right now is the chance to Start to increase your awareness of your sensory acuity, to start to practice using it and to see what comes up as a result. So, for a moment, or when this, um, when this video is finished, and before you read what is below, just stop for a moment and pick something out in the room you're in. And while you look at it, just become aware of everything else you can see and wonder how it all fits together. And then, notice your feelings, the feeling of air as you breathe it into your body, the feel of the clothes against your skin. Notice the slight breeze as it crosses your face. And again, wonder what is happening that allowed you to feel that feeling. You can do the same thing with smells and with tastes, um, anything that you're experiencing right now in real time. And finally, bring your attention to your thoughts. 
Notice the thoughts that you're having and ask yourself, what is it I'm thinking? And how did I come to think that? And how do I know what I'm thinking is real? Take a little while to run through those exercises and I'll see you in the next part.